I'm back in Chicago getting ready to answer the age-old question, just how high can you get with aeroplane miles? Higher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is Half Points Will Travel. I'm back in Chicago today flying to Istanbul in Turkish Airlines business class on my way to Cappadocia. To book this, we transferred 58,000 American Express points to Aeroplan and used them to cover the ticket cost of 57,500 miles. In order to earn these miles, you could spend on the American Express Platinum or American Express Gold. And thanks to those points, the ticket only cost about $7. Aeroplan charges fewer miles than other programs for the same redemption and doesn't pass on fuel surcharges for Turkish Airlines flights, making this a very valuable redemption. There are other ways to book this exact itinerary. Capital One points transfer to Aeroplan, for example, but they would charge about 20,000 more points for the exact same itinerary. Ooh. To find availability in Turkish business class, I recommend you uh, look last minute, like we did, or uh, five or more months in advance. And if you don't find anything, you can set an alert on Experts Flyer. actually ask them to turn the temperature down, which I recently learned. We've got about an hour and 47 minutes left. Here's how this shoot's going so far. This morning I was supposed to be on a hot air balloon. Canceled. All right, I'll go shoot sunrise. No colors. Well, as I just learned, nothing gets your blood pumping in the morning like being chased by a herd of wild dogs. And they chased me up on top of one of these fairy chimney things. Go home. I posted a little video about that two weeks ago, so subscribe so you don't miss things like that. This has been a lesson in how to handle things when they don't go according to plan. But you know what? I'm super thankful to have the experience of when these plans fall apart. Uh, for me, that's actually one of the best things about travel, and you just gotta roll with it. Shooting sunrise right now. These freaking puppies. Gonna bump into my stuff. I still have a couple more days to explore, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more of what this place is all about. For the third time this trip, balloons are canceled. Uh, on the way here, my driver got a call that they're not flying because of wind. <sighs> it's a little bit rough, but um, maybe something will change. They say 50-50 right now. Okay, big time turn of events. I found someone with one seat left. It's good to go. 
Oh Get God. ready for a flight. I bought it last minute, so I'm going up. Look how high we are already. So close. Can you think of a better reason to get up before sunrise? No. <laughs> it's quiet. I mean, it's just it's silent. Apart from, <laughs> apart from the wind <laughs> and the huge, the burner. The crazy thing is they're gonna try to land this on the back of these trucks. Nice work. Perfect. It looks like now they're putting together some sort of a champagne celebration. I didn't know any of this because I hopped on at the last minute, but I'm into it. Three. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's only 8.15 in the morning, but uh, it's not in my religion to say no to complimentary alcohol, so cheers. I just wanted to wrap things up since I left Cappadocia so quickly after the hot air balloon. It's naive to think you won't have cancellations, plan changes, st stuff like that happens all the time. So when you go to a cool place, just enjoy the experience of being there. Don't worry too much about things getting messed up. And at the end of the day, it leads to great stories which you can bring back. So, you know what, it's not so bad in the end. Plus, for me, it worked out pretty well. So, <laughs> just stay positive. And uh, that's really all you can do. See you soon. See lacks a little bit of privacy. I'm laughing because every time I've been trying to do this for the last two minutes, I can't. Thanks for watching this episode. Subscribe to the channel to get all of our best travel tips and for a sneak peek of where I'm off to next.